Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. Time for another Pandoran Citadel, the last one on the map so far. At least the last one that we know of. And we have no one uh, else but the Prime Team that is supposed to go in and kill every single one of them. Or even take some some captives which would be fun jp paulie could use some speed i think so we'll do that in the butcherons already has maximum speed well power is cool as well a bit more strength to get to the 300 wouldn't be bad on the other hand you can never have too much willpower so might as well do that Inappropriate Murphy definitely continues with uh, the speed. Braille continues with speed. We're no longer encumbered here, which is good. We needed some more strength, but that is fine. Not enough points for speed yet. Good, next up, we're not encumbered here as well. Willpower could be an obvious choice. Now we have a couple of points left over. Speed would also be an obvious choice. Shattered Realm needs to get to 20. In terms of just equipment, I think we got the single best equipment on all of the slots at the moment not sure what else we would take at this point other than of course more ancient weapons and we have plenty of build uh, of ancient weapons that need building get uh, one more strength uh, to prevent encumbrance same here just realize that but yeah, we can do that soon. And we have landed. We need to defeat a Skrilla. Typical position. Left and to right. And the Skrilla straight ahead. Well, that should not be too difficult. <laughs> Considering the fact that we're typically dealing with more difficult situations than that. Polly moves up. Um, let's dash over here. Ian dashes deep into enemy territory. We're using dashes on many of the other characters now as well, mainly because we want to already spend some willpower, which we're going to get back in a second. The high overall speed really pays dividends. Okay, so let's take a close look. We got uh, this. Five hundred forty. Found the Skrilla. If 
found a couple more enemies. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh, look at you. It seems that we have hit a jackpot. Miss the click. <laughs> we almost kill an artillery with one go. Like it's two strikes and the guy is gone. Which means it is very, very likely that the Skrilla would be down in two swings. Well, no, nah, not that uh, little, maybe three. Dranks moves up, hands over some more actions. Hey. So, let's state the obvious. This group here is incredibly overpowered. And secondly, holy shit, that Skrilla is not going to have a good time. There is some loot here. Might as well want to get that. Polly moves up and I would say we're just putting that out there for armor removal. Good, end of turn. Yes, this little snout uh, to daze us. This is actually relatively clever. that our uh, psionic priest can also rush in. A few mutagens. can get mutagens from uh, the loot here. There's less of a need to get them via capturing uh, people. Might capture the Skrilla. I don't know if that would be a successfully executed mission. Oh, sh I forgot to use rapid clearance. It's not the end of the world. We'll need for the Skrilla to come closer anyways.
Strength moves here. Euler Dilly G are moving here. Snipers are doing a phenomenal job. Good, Polly moves up there and we got a hasted and appropriate Murphy. End of turn. Well, finally we got spotted out. Not sure what exactly is being hiding there, but I I am quite sure that it is up for no good. Adrenaline rush. So let's start with uh, some love taps. Solid minus 240 armor. Let that sink in. Another 270 armor. Couple of things, number one, uh, yes. Okay, cool. Number two. Let's use some more rocket launchers. But the armor reduction in itself reduces all the time. Which is a quite good indication that we have shredded it. Moving to here. More screaming. Moving to here. More mutagens, some tech. That's good. Mutagens and materials. And Trangs also moves up. Now a long process. Of 
seeing whether we hit something. Okay, well... Murphy needs to get closer. One, two, three, four. Euler. One. Not good. Two. Three. Good, we're overwatching. And again, overwatching. Polly moves up as well, because we want to get close. The idea is to stun him. We'll test whether or not that constitutes as a successful defeat of the Skrilla. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. We'll find out. Good, moving up. Let the enemies fight each other. Shattered Realm. How about we're doing that and that and that and slightly moving out. actually mean it does not say kill uh, it says defeat so I do have a slim hope that that means capture it If that's the case it would be absolutely phenomenal because it'll give us uh, the option to basically uh, take away a lot of mutagen or food whatever we decided uh, it's supposed to be Turn. 
Our positioning isn't bad. Now it's just a matter of making sure that this guy here continues to stay war cried. Good, repelling the mist. Which is much needed because elsewise uh, we're going to have a few problems with morale. Unfortunately, could have hit him one more time, but it's okay. That way we're at least safe. Good. Arthron continues to move up. almost done with that guy. Okay. That is a lot of paralysis, which is needed in order to get him down. Murphy, who needs to get closer anyways, because we need to haste soon again. And we got Pauly. Look, just in case. If that guy decides to do anything stupid, electric reinforcements. Okay, release. There you go. One, two, three, and this is the fourth, just to make sure that he's not going to wake up anymore. Crying. And off we go. One. Two. And 
can. It's the age old tactic of just charge in and stick as many sticks into that uh, thing as humanly possible. But why change it? It is working. Okay. Almost there. Murphy moves even a bit closer. And then just uses all of his narcotics that he had available. End of turn. I think the Skrilla just doesn't have enough actions anymore. He's down to one action at best. going to get him down one two three four Good. Defeat the Skrilla. Complete it. <laughs> begins to run down. begins to move in order to pick up uh, the gun and everybody else should be super fast I think even though we did not necessarily try to get rid of a lot of uh, or capture a lot of uh, the enemies we got all of the loot we got a Skrilla I mean please that's an achievement in itself I think we had like 600 or 700 mutagens uh, worth of loot in the crates, some tech, some materials. So although we did not artificially try to prolong anything, capturing off the Skrilla actually made a whole lot of sense. Retrieve the turret. Polly begins to move up. And I think next turn we would be out of here.
Luckily the AI seems to be not very smart, so they are just camping here. Which, look, I don't mind. You can do whatever you want. Just leaving them here so that they can theoretically hand over more actions. Poly evacuates. Murphy evacuates. And yeah, this team here, it's really amusing uh, to play with them. If Ian just goes in and he effectively hits enemies for 540, mind you, AoE hits with reach. Well, it's just crazy. The speed that they can have, the, the fact that they are not ty uh, tiring as easily because they are robots, the vast array of immunities that they do have, and just the ability to capture almost all of the enemies just like that. That's not too bad. I'm wondering if uh, we should give uh, Grell, instead of the normal sniper that she has, if she, we would give her the uh, sniper that uh, paralyzes, because that deals, I think, I think 16 paralyzation damage. And imagine that uh, mm, that amount of uh, damage. We've been through so much together. Or let's put it this way. You've done so much for us. Our history is so full of betrayal and disappointment that sometimes it's hard to remember that there are others out there who really do share our values. Nice. This gift is just symbolic. We can never really repay. Okay. Um, so this one here would be 16 paralysis. And I'm just wondering, openly speaking, whether or not if you hit... Uh, with adre adrenaline rush like four five six times that might just be an incredible amount of um, of uh, damage so we give that to Grell where is she um we give that to Grell instead of the Pythagoras because theoretically I would almost always take Rebuke uh, to deal more damage but having her deal uh, all of uh, that paralyzation damage from range that actually is quite good so we're now 17 hours away from the Pandorans reaching Newfoundland. Want to do that as well. Not sure if it fits into a 17 hour flight schedule just down there and up. Seems like a little bit too much, but we could go uh, for Time Vault as another immediate mission. We could also just play it safe. You know what? F it. We're going for Time Vault. Okay, Tiamat 7 stays there. These guys need to regain their stamina. And Tiamat 2 seven throughout all of the rings so I personally think that we should send these guys over to Asia and help there Little Green and Co. Andrew Sanders, Tyler, Natalia, Tiamat 
stuff. Yes, I mean, look, why not? Um, question is, who is covering for North America then? Uh, these guys could go down here and then fly back. Hmm. On the other hand... On the other hand... Having two manticores here allows us to trade a lot. So, again, I'm wondering what the most efficient uh, way is. I don't want to build up yet another team. We got one stuck here, one stuck here, and it seems that this is coverable with one Tiamat. It's not, it's not too far away. Everything's sort of fine up here. Maybe I just need to start flying around and trade with them as well. Got a new Pandora nest. See, you kill one and another one immediately appears. This is so disheartening. You can never really fully get rid of them apparently. The writings of my great-grandfather recount his mission to Oglethorpe University and the Time Vault. It was here in 1936 that he deposited the files, sealed aluminium containers that were locked away to be opened in a thousand years. Did he know what those files contained? I'm not sure. He was a wily old devil. I have the documents before me now. They prove what I had previously only suspected. A technologically advanced hominin civilization existed on this planet long before Homo sapiens came along. They flourished until something destroyed them. But some of them must have survived. Or where did the stories come from? Somehow, they must have won. I know that some of my operatives think I've lost it. It doesn't matter. I have to keep searching. If I find the answer, it'll have all been worth it. Okay, it was not even a mission. At this point, Syme's note become hard to make sense of. He seems to have investigated an archaeological site of some kind and noted down several fragments of antediluvian writing, which led him to wherever he went next. He would need to, uh, we would need to reconstruct the writing to figure out his final destination. And that would be this here, top secret. Good, since we want to go uh, to here anyways, to clear out the base, might as well do that now. Okay. It's hard for me to say what is a mission and what is just kind of a point of interest. The game doesn't really tell you that in advance, which I think is a bit of, an, uh, of a problem. So next question is, we do have more material. Do we want to build uh, more research labs? I think that was our next intention, right? Miss Haven, another research lab. And yet another research lab. Okay, cool. Well, you can see there are still so many archeological labs uh, on the radar that it's hard to keep track of all of them. It feels that the end game is really more geared towards just powering through everything.
Two for twelve sounds good, but I don't want to trade away all of our options here. This is Manticore 1, which means it's the African uh, force. We're moving to there. Let's move and defend um, our location there. Construction complete. Okay, we got slowly but surely even more constructed. Two for twelve isn't bad, but boy, we're hmm. No, I don't want to completely trade out of technology. That's not a good idea. That's Manticore 3. Uh, equally, equally an African uh, protector, so might as well fly to the continent of Africa. Manticore 4 and 8 look good. Which means you guys are flying there and I hope I sure hope this is not just another point of interest which the game like tries to disguise as a mission. Grell is going pick that up and a bit of ammunition 12 shots more than enough fine yeah the whole trading to this day I remain skeptical whether that was the best choice of implementing it seems so much more straightforward to let that be an auto activity yeah we're waiting for the other team to come yeah, we're going to reach that in time. No worries. And that will be our next mission. Kurut. Um, could put it into Antarctica, yes. West Africa already has one. Miss Haven has one. Alaska Snow has one. Newfoundland has one. Europe has one. Born in the USA has one. South America does not yet have one, so that's where we go. And we do have one Dilibet as uh, the last one that we need to produce before every single base has one of them. Yeah, next what next time we're going to uh, de-infest. Uh, Mexico and we're going to build up another base that should be another research laboratory you can by the way see all the way up there is still archaeology uh, labs so that's going to be everything that we're building we're very close to the next scythe that we can build and then very close to the next rocket launcher that we can build and afterwards the next three things that we're building are going to be sniper rifles because we have a few sniper rifles in the first team 
uh, that we would want to um, want to use and then I think I wanted to test the shotgun as well and a couple of other things anyways that's going to happen the next time thanks for watching guys if you want to free the base um, send some resources by clicking the like button and see you in the next episode bye bye